everybody, welcome to my channel, Makeup by Nessa. So this tutorial is going to be a fall makeup look. So basically what I'm going to start off with is using my Makeup Forever in the shade 145. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And I'm just going to blend this out using my Precision Face Brush from Bare Minerals. And I'm just going to blend this out. Um, really great thing about this foundation is that I have really super oily skin and this combo kind of works for me with the poreless primer perfector but it always does the job for me so I'm just putting a second little layer there just blending this out I'm not worried about my under eye part my under eye area right now because I'm going to be using concealer and I love this brush this is like the brush that I use when I want like full coverage. Um, and I'm just gonna bring whatever I have left down my neck. Okay. And then after I'm going to be using uh, the Fit Me Concealer and in the shade Sand Sable which is like the perfect shade. It's not too bright and it's not too dark, so. And I'm just going to literally brighten up this area. Put it right there. Put some right here. And then right down the bridge of my nose. I am going to use my Real Techniques contour brush um, and just blend everything out. And I'm not swiping, I'm just patting. And it just brightens up the right areas. I always concentrate in blending out any harsh edges first before I go off and start blending out right under the eye. So like right at the bottom, I'll blend out first. And I'm just patting. And then with a smaller brush, which is the Real Techniques, and this is the Deluxe Crease Brush, I'm just going to go a little closer. And this kind of gives me the right coverage that I want. And not only that, but it blends out whatever I want to blend out. And I'm going to use whatever's left over onto my brush onto my lid. And then you can... If you just feel like it's too much, just blend it out just a little bit more. Just like that. And you want to do it to the other eye. See how concealer kind of brightens you up. And I'm literally not doing anything but just patting and then bring whatever's left into my eyelids. I do have really, really kind of like pinkish eyelids um, I think it's just my skin how it is and I'm just going to literally blend all everything are you gonna blend everything that you just highlighted basically and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it I usually use my Laura Mercier uh, translucent, translucent uh, setting powder, but I just, um, yesterday I was going, you know, uh, trying to look for Halloween stuff, and I bought this because I heard not only great things about it, but um, I've heard really, really great things about it, and it's the Airspun uh, Loose face powder and it's it's just like a setting powder as well and it's you know I've heard so many good things about it so I'm actually interested into using it and here you go it's kind of the only thing I don't really like is the way it's kind of packaged it's kind of messy so and before I set anything I'm just going to pat um, the under eye area just so I don't set any creases or any you know my wrinkles or any linings you know before you set anything 
always blend out just one more time before you set you know your under eye or anything that you highlighted just blend it out one more time and I am really just gonna set this and like this smells really good this smells is like the smell that this gives me and reminds me of is like my mom's perfume <laughs> and that's kind of weird but it just does and I'm using my beauty blender um, to set everything. I really do like this stuff. The only kind of thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's just kind of messy and it's like all over the place. But I do have to say it's super good for $6. I bought it at, I think, Walgreens. It was Walgreens. I was shopping for um, Halloween makeup tutorial stuff. I'm just going to put a little bit more. You can never have enough highlight. Okay, so we're done with my concealer and my foundation. And now we are going to do the eyes. And I already kind of set my eyes with the concealer. I'm just going to put on a eyeshadow. And this is the L'Oreal Paris um, in the color Pearl. Um, it's kind of like a nice bone white color and I really like it. I'm just going to pat it on with my finger. They don't really work well with brushes. That is my only thing. They work well with patting on onto the eye. We're going to apply that eyeshadow all over the eye and just kind of just blend it out kind of by the crease. So then when I am um, going to put a color, the color in my crease it'll blend out a little bit better so right now I'm gonna use the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette and I'm going to be using these two colors right here Nooner and Limit and I'm just gonna take my Sigma E25 brush and I'm gonna mix those two colors together and I'm just gonna go directly into my crease and I'm dragging it all the way to the inner corner and then I'm gonna grab a dark horse and I'm gonna grab my this is my morphe m433 brush and it's really small and tapered so I'm just gonna smoke this out right here if you're just beginning to do makeup go little by little because um, you can't do anything when you put a little too much other than just blending out as much as you can if you're just a beginner like I said, always just start off little by little and then blend. And then going back with my um, blending E25 from Sigma, I'm just going to blend this out even more. And I'm actually going to put a lid color. Okay, and I'm going to grab my Kat Von D palette. This is in Beethoven. And I'm actually going to grab a just a flat shader brush. And this is from Sigma. This is actually a concealer brush, but I use it too. And I'm gonna, I'm, I always use it for my lids. I'm gonna pack it on with the color tequila, and I'm just gonna place it right in the lid part, just to brighten it up a little. And there you go. And then you can go back with your crease brush and your blending brush and just blend everything out just so nothing looks misplaced or nothing is blended. Like I said, just blend out as much as you can. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with this eye. And the thing I love about Urban Decay uh, eyeshadows is they're so super blendable that you don't really have to do much work. And I'm just going to go in there and just blend a little bit more. I'm going to be using Strange from the Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to place that on the top of my brows. Just to highlight a little. And then you can just go in and blend it out a little bit later. But right now I just kind of want to place that there. And if you feel like one side is not dark, it happens. It tends to happen a lot. Just go back in. And just darken it a little bit a little. And there you go. Now we are going to actually... Um, dust off the highlight and I'm gonna use my fan brush and this is a Morphe M601 
Alright, and I just did my brows, and what I used was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I just went through my brows, and whatever was spare, sparse, I just covered up, and then I just used the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in the color Brown Ebony, just to set everything. And then, um, now I'm going to be doing my contour. Now I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, and I'm just going to grab Havana and Java and just place it right here. If you don't know how to contour, top of the ear, find your cheekbone, and it's right there. You don't want to take it down, you kind of want to stop, like, right here. Grabbing those two colors again, and then doing it for the other cheek. So like I said, top of the ear, place down. Right there is where your contour should be. And then you can always blend it out with the contour brush that you use for your concealer. Just so it won't be so harsh. And I always do that because I always go a little overboard on my contour. And there you go. And then you can grab the same brush and just contour a little bit. And if you put a little too much, always remember grab your foundation brush or whatever and just blend it out. And there you go. And now I'm going to bronze my skin. Um, and I'm going to be using the Morphe S13. I kind of ran out of my MAC Give Me Sun. And so I'm, instead of using, because I feel like I'm always using the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. I'm going to be using the Positions Formula in Bronze Booster Medium to Dark. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of bronze. Now we're going to start with the lips. And I'm going to be using my Jordana in Plush Plum. If your lips are chapped, you should probably moisturize them before you do this. But I already moisturized and I've already put a primer on top. And so I'm just gonna, I'm literally just gonna outline my lips. And there you go. And in the on my lips, I am going to use my. Matte Rouge, my matte lipstick. This is from NYX and this is the color Siren. It's a super plummy look. And now I'm just gonna apply my liner. That is like my last thing I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna be using the NYX NYC Liquid Eyeliner. And there you go, that is the wing that I kind of want, something short. I don't like to over-dramatize my eyeliner, especially when my lips are already super, 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 like, extreme. And I'm just going to do the other eye. And I still, to this day, still have the hardest time trying to do my eyeliner. I now am going to Put on some false lashes. I grab the 110s blacks and from Ardell. So I'm just gonna grab my eyelash glue. I'll just let it get really tacky so then you can place it. And then push them up a little. Now we're going to do the other ones, and these are really simple, not too dramatic. Let the dry, glue dry. Then you can place some mascara, and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Cree Lash. And what I'm literally doing is just blending my lashes with the fake lashes. Do the same thing with these. Alrighty, and this is the finished look. A lot of the things that I used in here were drugstore brand, like the Jordana 
um, and NYC and a lot of uh, physicians formula as well and a lot of these brushes Morphe brushes you know they're they're not drugstore products but they're cheaper than what like Mac or Sigma because they can be a little pricey and I know sometimes people are on a budget so it's sometimes it's hard to play with makeup when you are on a budget sorry if you can hear that that's my parrot and so that is my finished look and I hope you guys really, really do like it. And if you guys do, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.